Uh, this is Glenn Fisher with Benefit Insights Podcast, where leaders share their insights on employee benefits. It is six questions in nine minutes because leaders know how to listen and be concise. So let's get to it. Question number one. In a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. I'm Greg Carlton. I'm a founder of Allied Advisors Group, a co-founder of Acclaim Health Analytics, uh, which are my two primary driving, uh, I guess, passions these days. One is really centered around people, uh, bringing the best of people together and, and helping them to collaborate more effectively. The other is really about bringing the information or the data uh, to these clients and these partners and collaborators and transforming it into knowledge. Um, you know, what do I do? Uh, I think I've told clients for 20 to 30 years now, uh, I change the story. So if you're the type of person that's not happy with your story and you want to improve that story and that, that legacy and lasting performance of your organization, then I'm the kind of person you generally want to be talking about. I'm always pushing to change the story and certainly make it better. What's the best thing about being a being in employee benefits? You know, um, I, I, it was funny. I went to school thinking I would be a geologist or I'd be a pilot in the geologist or I'd work on oil rigs or something like that. I kind of fell into it because of a strong math and science background and analytics. And uh, so, you know, a large insurance company came to school and said, hey, we're looking for people that are built like you, you know, think like you. So. I said, gosh, I don't want to be in the insurance business, but uh, testing well and getting involved in the math part of the insurance business, uh, I think it's a math is a universal language and it lent itself. And then once I figured out the people part of how do you use your talents uh, analytically, mathematically, actuarially to then help people achieve their goals to really bring clarity, that's what for me really started to make sense. And so over the years, one of my goals in changing the story for clients was to help clients to be the smartest they can be to make the best decisions. And uh, I always, uh, honestly, my biggest struggle was running into someone who wanted to be a client, get the outcome, but they never wanted to listen or they never wanted to be a part of yeah. learning. They just wanted something sort of magical to happen. So those are where I think nothing against great salespeople, but great salespeople can make you want to buy anything. The problem is the long lasting impact of not maybe having a foundation to work with. So um, my best clients tend to be people, agencies and clients that say, we want to understand the why. And then you can help us understand the how and the what that follows the why. I hear from other leaders that working in employee benefit, being able to see what's ahead can be a challenge. Your thoughts? Um, I, I don't know. I would probably say that it's always a challenge to know the next step. If you knew that, you can always armchair quarterback and be successful. But I think what happens, we always talk about skating to where the puck is going to be. Um, so I think for me, again, it goes back to uh, data. It goes back to surrounding myself with great uh, thinkers that are diverse, that have uh, not always my idea but willing to listen to them and to think about uh, how you put this together in sort of a 4D picture. Uh, my prior partners in a business for years and years, almost 25 years, always said, gosh, you're always um, so far ahead. How do you do that? How do you see around the corner? And I, th it's just the way my brain was wired, I guess, to be able to do that. I didn't get it always right, but I got it right a lot of times. And um, I think part of it is being right on that edge so that you're not so far ahead that people think you're a lunatic, but you're far enough ahead that all your competition pays most, spends most of their time catching up. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, what piece of insight do you want to share with employers? Well, I would say it's sort of, uh, it's around what I call rights. <laughs> so uh, putting things out in terms of right relationships, and I think the leader for me on that is character. When you're listening to people, bringing people in around you, wanting to hire someone as a consultant or a broker in this case or whatever, um, I think it's centering that initially on character and letting the knowledge and the capabilities follow the character. If they don't have the right character, I wouldn't continue with them. 
The second is around knowledge and to have right knowledge, you need right data. You need the right information and inputs in order to get to the right knowledge level and then determining what am I going to do with that? And that for me, that's always about measuring. If you can't measure something, uh, you really can't manage it to manage to the right outcome. So right relationships around character, right information, right obtaining the right information that can be translated into knowledge. And then again, finding the right measurement to know that you're making small adjustments toward your cha changing your story in the right direction. That's really awesome. I said about character so true. Um, what other successful leaders like yourself would you like to acknowledge and and that should be a part of this podcast? Oh gosh, there's so many, you know, and I think uh, when you think about leaders that bring people together. So I would say focus on people. I, th I think of people like um, Perry Braun at Benefit Advisors Network. He's always been a great leader of people and great insights. Larry Lenny is in Insight Performance Group's always had a huge impact uh, on my prior life as an advisor. Uh, Kevin Trokey is doing great work with Q4. Uh, you know, not to leave me by out, but those are folks that just really come to my mind as, as leaders. Uh, we have a, a relationship with a guy down in Tampa, Florida, Dennis Hart, and he's always been a leader, always had a heart for clients. He's a great advisor down in that part of the, in the sunny part. We're in the frozen part right now, but yeah, in yeah. The sunny part of the United States. So those are some of the types of people I would want to be surrounding myself right now. Awesome. Um, how do you celebrate a win? Um, gosh, that's interesting. Uh, I think it comes in sort of this faith, family, friends type model and then uh, with teams. So my first is always to look at where did the success come from to begin with? So I let my faith lead me in that direction. Absolutely. Um, obviously, you know, I think about like when, when we're successful or when we're not so successful, what's the first thing you do? And I tend to find myself calling my wife, mm -hmm. uh, sharing it with, you know, my wife, my mom, my kids, my grandkids, uh, and bringing our friends in around us. And then I think not to leave our team out, but certainly on the uh, corporate or business level, it's sharing that back. It's not saying, look, look at what I did, but it's giving the right uh, credit to who actually was successful. It's generally not me. It's usually a lot of other people involved in this other than me. I just happen to be blessed by being along for the ride. Yeah, that's awesome, Greg. I, I love that part about you. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you on. Um, tell uh, people how, how we can find you. So, um, you know, websites, www.alliedadvisorsgroup.com. That's A-D-V-I-S-O-R-S mm -hmm. uh, group.com. Uh, best way. And then, uh, you know, on just go out and Google uh, Gregory Carlton. You know, you're going to find us out there. Link, we're on LinkedIn. We're on Facebook. Allied has a presence. Acclaim Health has a presence uh, through Benefit Advisors Network. You know, just look up Benefit Advisors Network and we're right there. So. I uh, love to connect with people, and I, th I think the little, sort of the parting theme would be never sh never hesitate to share and collaborate, because when you do that, it makes everyone come out better in the long run. Absolutely. Thank you, Greg, for, for being on the show, and uh, this is Glenn Fisher with Benefit Insights Podcast. For more insights, go to LinkedIn and share and search for NAVMD. Um, thank you so much, Greg. Uh, thank you, Glenn. Appreciate it.